Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu salamu rasulullah. We continue reading from Imam Ghazali's Jawah al-Quran, the Jews of the Quran. We are still reading uh, these Jews from Surah Zumar. He, uh, Imam Ghazali chose 16 uh, verses. And uh, we have uh, completed in the second reading uh, verse uh, 38 and uh, we move to verse 42 uh, which means that Imam Ghazali did not really uh, choose uh, 39, 40 and uh, 41 although they are extremely important but the idea um, if you have been following uh, these uh, uh, commentaries um, uh, something that interested Imam Ghazali but could be a response to uh, to uh, people to schools of uh, thought to atheists to uh, uh, people who uh, are lax about uh, action uh, and this is why uh, the uh, verse 39 which is not included here really here in the uh, in this it's in, the, in what Imam Ghazali selected um, uh, say meaning the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Prophet oh my people persist in your ways for I too will persist in mine you'll soon come to know we all uh, will soon uh, come to know uh, this life is uh, temporary it's a um, it's a place where we uh, sow the seeds uh, we uh, plant here and we uh, reap there of course when uh, we don't talk about planting uh, uh, crops that we uh, are going to uh, consume. We talk about uh, good deeds. Yes, all people uh, will, uh, uh, you know, on the uh, day of judgment, uh, will be held accountable for what they have done in this life. And let's remember that al qawlu min jins al amal. As Imam Ghazali, uh, uh, Imam Ibn Bukhari, in fact, in uh, Sahih Bukhari, there is a chapter uh, under this uh, title, Al Qawlu Min Jinsil Amal. So, what you say is also part of your action. You will know what, what do you know? May Yatihi Adabu Yuhzi Hu Yahalu Alihi Adabu Muqim, who will be visited by humiliating torment. In, uh, and overwhelmed by an everlasting punishment in the next. It could be both, of course, in, in this life and the uh, definitely in the hereafter. Now we come to verse uh, 41. We have uh, revealed to you the book of Prophet. الكتاب, of course, to the Prophet I revealed the book to you. Uh, or Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with the truth for humanity. So whoever chooses to be guided, it is for their own good, and whoever chooses to stray, it is only to their own loss. You are not a keeper over them. Of course, uh, it's not up to you. You only warn, you only convey the message, and people uh, make a decision. Either to follow or not to follow, to submit or not to submit, to worship or not to worship, uh, to uh, have the uh, right belief about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or to have the wrong belief about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you the, uh, granted you the wisdom, granted you uh, reason, granted you uh, revelation. Uh, logical thinking whatever you uh, need and 
uh, in the hope that you'll make the right choice. Now to the uh, next selection, verse 42. الله يتوفى الأم فسحين موتها والتي لم تمت في منامها فيمسك التي قضى عليها الموت ويرسل الأخرى إلى أجل مسمى إن في ذلك الآيات لقوم يتفكرون It is Allah سبحانه وتعالى It is Allah who uh, calls back the souls of people upon their death as well as the souls of the living during their sleep then he keeps those for whom he has ordained death and releases the others until their appointed time. Surely in this are signs for people who reflect. This is why um, sleeping is considered the uh, uh, minor death. Uh, it is not death per se, but of course you are not uh, uh, you are not in control of your. Uh, uh, of your life, uh, you are not aware of uh, of what's going on, and in general, you cannot resist sleeping for a long uh, period. Uh, when people are uh, sleep uh, deprived, uh, they might not be able to make the right uh, decision. Uh, and it is used as a form of uh, uh, of torture. Also, the uh, most probably the uh, slips of the tongue will increase in such uh, under such conditions. But death is inevitable. People are mortal. And there is an appointed, there is an appointed uh, term. There is an appointed time. You cannot. In fact, um, the universe itself is temporary. This life is temporary. From Adam until the very last person. Uh, you know, to die on the day of uh, of judgment, except those whom Allah Subhanahu wa Taala uh, decrees, but all will uh, die at once when the uh, the trumpet is uh, is blown. It's, uh, I have said this in a previous. Uh, uh, recording um, if the sound is about uh, 240-250 decibels it would blow your head out or have they taken others besides Allah as intercessors this is verse 43 Say Would they do so? Say, O Prophet Would they do so even though those idols have neither authority nor intelligence? They are, they are supposed to be the intelligent ones Intercession belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Verse 44. So between 42 and 46, Imam Ghazali did not select any of these as uh, as Jews, but we continue. Of course, to him belongs, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. Then to him you will all be returned. Intercession belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He could grant it. And we we hope that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa will be uh, given this on the day uh, of judgment. When the other prophets will shy away from uh, interceding.
وَإِذَا ذُكْرَ اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ شَمَعَزَّتْ قُلُوبَ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْآخِرَةِ وَإِذَا ذُكْرَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ دُونِهِ إِذَا هُمْ يَسْتَبْشِرُونَ Yet when Allah alone is mentioned, the hearts of those who disbelieve in the hereafter are filled with disgust. But as soon as those, uh, you know, between uh, inverted commas gods other than him are mentioned, they are filled with joy. They do not, they do not want to hear the word uh, Allah, and this is, uh, there was a, a controversy that uh, in Malaysia they did not want uh, the non-Muslims did not want them to use the word Allah uh, and they should, they should have known that all those who use Arabic they use the word Allah including all Christian denominations the Orthodox, the uh, Catholic, the Protestant just come to uh, Palestine and listen to uh, Sunday Mass or service and you see that they do use the word Allah and uh, the same apply to uh, Arab Jews they use the word Allah of course and the, uh, the Semitic languages are pretty close to each other El Allah uh, 46 is, uh, is one of these uh, Jews قل اللهم فاطر السماوات الأرض عالم عالم الغيب والشهادة أن تتحكم بين عبادك فيما كانوا فيه يختلفون. Say or of Prophet of course. قل this is addressing the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم imperative language. هو الله originator of the heavens and the earth, knower of the seen and the and unseen. You will judge between your servants regarding their differences. Of course we have. Uh, differences and ultimately Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, you know judge the uh, the truth validity of what we subscribe to or not uh, you don't force for example uh, uh, the Quran itself in uh, surah uh, uh, Al Imran, uh, at the very beginning of the this lengthy uh, chapter, there's reference of that which is muhkam and mutashabih, and of course the uh, one understanding is that uh, uh, there are verses, uh, and this is the nature of language, especially uh, a sophisticated language like Arabic. Uh, the text sometimes uh, is precise and sometimes it is open for interpretation and uh, interpretation in general tafsir exegesis uh, is an ongoing uh, process Muslims never canonized any uh, book of uh, tafsir of exegesis of interpretation of the Quran so you could if you have the tools if you have the tools, then uh, you are invited to uh, interpret. And the, the major tool, of course, is uh, Arabic, knowing Arabic very well. I remember uh, a Malaysian uh, woman, sisters in Islam, they call themselves. Uh, before seeing them, you might think about uh, these sisters in Islam uh, as being conservative or even more. No, uh, they came in, in uh, t-shirts to the International Islamic University and they wanted to meet with some professors. The dean sent for a, a few professors, including myself. And I remember one of those ladies saying that she wants to interpret the Qur'an uh, which is really a wonderful thing if she uh, if she did and if she could uh, and I asked her a very simple question I asked her do you know Arabic she said no 
so she wants to interpret an interpretation remember that uh, as we said uh, earlier that the uh, any uh, translation is in fact uh, an interpretation so an interpretation of the of a translation of the uh, of the quran on one level that's fine but ultimately if you talk about something scholarly it doesn't work like this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will decide and tatahkumu bayna ibadik fi makan fi yahtalifun this is also mentioned in a hadith uh, narrated by uh, a Muslim uh, sound tradition uh, by way of uh, Abu Salama uh, bin Abdul Rahman he said he, that he asked Aisha uh, Umm al-Mu'mineen uh, mother of the faithful uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with her about how the Prophet sallallahu alayhi used to begin his uh, nightly uh, prayer إِذَا قَامَ مِنَ اللَّيْلِ and uh, in, the, in the hadith part of what he used to, used to say in his, uh, in his dua, in his supplication he would uh, address Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he would say أَنْتَ تَحْكُمْ بَيْنَ عِبَادِكِ فِي مَا كَانُوا فِيهِ يَخْتَلِفُونَ you will judge uh, between your servants regarding their differences so one of the most important things is that is that we need to have uh, truth and that's the uh, key uh, uh, concept that's the cornerstone when you talk about conflict first thing we need to know is the truth second uh, is uh, uh, knowing whether uh, altering uh, um, you know with the uh, changing the uh, the truth into falsehood uh, did it cause injustice which means that we need to tend to uh, uh, to uh, to justice so truth justice and then you will have uh, peace and uh, that's not how uh, things are today of course i'm not approving this uh, world leaders, um, think tanks, uh, pro specialized professors, uh, journalists, uh, they jump, uh, they jump over the uh, first two uh, steps and they want to achieve uh, peace. They speak about security, but they don't want to speak about justice. Remember, remember the story of Omar al-Khattab. Sayyidina Umar, uh, the second uh, caliph, he, uh, uh, he was austere and um, no fancy offices. And uh, there was an emissary who came to uh, see him, an emissary like an ambassador today. When he asked about Sayyidina Umar al-Khattab, uh, he was told he's sleeping under that tree. Uh, and that emissary said three words in Arabic probably need um, a dozen of the words in English to translate the Arabic you must have been just uh, therefore you uh, uh, felt secure uh, and ultimately you slept like this Justice is uh, a precondition for uh, for peace, and you don't force people where there is room for uh, where there is room for uh, uh, multiple interpretations. You don't force one uh, or the other. In between forty six and the next uh, the next jewel, if you will, the next election. وَمَا قَدْرُ اللَّهِ حَقَّ قَدْرِهِ uh, We have about uh, 
20 uh, verses and amongst these uh, verses one of the verses uh, is verse 52 do they not know that Allah gives abundant or limited provisions to whoever he wills surely and these are signs for people who believe the Imam Ghazali mentions a story in the uh, in the uh, in Kitab al uh, uh, hope and uh, and fear and uh, the story is that it's it, there is no verification of the story but simply mentioning the story as is the most important thing for us is the meaning when we don't know the source of the story uh, the uh, a magian a majusi passed by Sayyid Ibrahim salam and uh, he wanted Sayyid Ibrahim salam uh, Prophet Abraham to host him and we know that Sayyid Ibrahim salam was a uh, 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 was generous a big host remember um, when the angels passed by by him on their way to the people of Pilut uh, alayhi salam Sodom and Gomorrah in the biblical narrative uh, they took of course an anthropomorphic form he uh, um, he arranged for uh, uh, a fat calf if you will Ajil Hanith, Ajil Samin, and he, you know, uh, put it in front of them, but but they refrained from eating. In the, in the in the Bible, they do eat. Uh, so the uh, Majin asked Ibrahim alayhi salam that he would host him, and Sayyid Ibrahim alayhi salam insisted that. Uh, this major would become a Muslim in the universal sense and uh, he went his way because he did not want to change his religion he, of course he's free uh, as you uh, well know then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reveal to Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam uh, why he uh, refrained from hosting the major of course, he's an unbeliever, but why? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam, telling, he, he told him that uh, for 70 years I have been providing for him, sustaining him. And uh, Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam uh, went and looked for the, the man and took him back, and the man asked, what's the source of... Uh, of uh, you know, why he changed his mind and Sayyidina Ibrahim Sayyidina told him about what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to him and the man uh, was touched and he became a uh, Muslim at that at that moment remember that uh, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says elsewhere in the Quran uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides for these and those uh, for the believer and the non-believer uh, and the sustenance and the gifts of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not only food it's everything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives them uh, offspring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives them uh, jobs Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but it, then uh, with all this there is responsibility and uh, Verse uh, 67 is the next uh, jewel. They have not shown Allah his proper reverence. والأرض جميعا قبضته يوم القيامة والسماوات مطويات بيمينه سبحانه وتعالى عما يشركون When on the day of judgment the whole earth will be in his grip 
Let's do not think of a, a, a literally a closed uh, hand. Uh, this is, uh, of course, uh, a metaphor for uh, power. Los Fantas is omnipotent. The heavens will be rolled up in his right hand, in, in the right hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And again, uh, the Prophet said in the hadith that both of his of God's hands are uh, right. Uh, and بِأَيْدٍ uh, بِيَدَيْ uh, I always think in terms of interpret it in terms of the uh, verse that uh, rejects attributing uh, any um, characteristics of uh, of the creatures of uh, of the human being. For example, nothing is like unto him. Subhanahu wa taala. So they did not really uh, show Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the proper uh, reverence. When on the day of judgment, the whole earth will be in uh, his grip and the heavens will be rolled up in his right hand, glorified and exalted. Is he above what they associate with him subhanahu wa ta'ala? And the Trumpet will be blown. This is another uh, so seven, 67, 68, 69, and 70, uh, one after the other. And the trumpet will be blown, and all those in the heavens and all those on the earth will be will fall dead, except those that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala wills to spare. And then it will be blown again. And they will rise up at once, looking on in anticipation. And the earth will shine with the light of its Lord. The record of deeds, the al Kitab. The record of deeds will be laid open. The prophets and the witnesses will be brought forward. The judgment will be passed on. All with fairness. None will be wronged. وأشرقت الأرض بنور ربها وضع الكتاب وجيء بالنبيين والشهداء وقضي بينهم بالحق وهم لا يظلمون. Every soul will be paid in full for its deeds, for Allah knows best what they have done. Um, we should not forget that the uh, repentance is uh, possible. In fact, one is encouraged to uh, uh, to perform uh, remember, remember, repentance, if you will. Imam Ghazali said, if you regret an nadam tawba, if you simply regret, even if you don't say anything, it is still uh, repentance. And here we have a mention of uh, uh, one of the verses uh, where we have the, uh, the source of the name of the of this chapter, Zumar. It's not, it's not included in the jewels. وَسِيقَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِلَى جَهَنَّمَ زُمَرًا That's part of the uh, verse. Those who disbelieved will be driven to hell in successive groups. In successive groups. And they will be told to enter the uh, gates of uh, hellfire uh, eternally, forever. And those who believe and that's uh, uh, the verse before the uh, uh, 
I'll go back to the last two verses that Imam Ghazali selected. These were, would be 74, 75, 75 but here 73, again uh, Zumaran, uh, but in relation to those who are destined to go to paradise, وَسِيقَ الَّذِينَ تَقَوْ رَبَّهُمْ لِلْجَنَّةِ زُمْرًا حَتَّى إِذَا جَاءُوهَا وَفِتْحَتْ أَبْوَابُهَا وَقَالْ لَمْ خَزَنَتُهَا سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ طِبْتُمْ فَدُخُلُوهَا خَالِدِينَ And those who were mindful of their Lord will be uh, led to paradise in successive groups, Zumara. حتى إذا جاءوا فتحت أبوابها وقال لهم خزن السلام عليكم طبتم فادخلوا خالدين The uh, uh, gatekeepers of paradise will say peace be upon you You have done well so come in to stay forever Now we have the last two uh, verses selected here وقال الحمد لله الذي صدقنا وعده وورثنا الأرض نتبوا من الجنة حيث نشاء فنعم أجر العاملين وترى الملائكة حافين من حول العرش سبع محمد ربهم وقضي بينهم الحق وقيل الحمد لله رب العالمين uh, الحمد لله رب العالمين is mentioned several times in the uh, Quran this uh, very, uh, you know, phrase we have uh, about we have six uh, uh, instances uh, Remember that it is mentioned in Surah Al-Fatiha, uh, the opening chapter of the Quran. Uh, it is mentioned in Surah Al-An'am, Surah Yunus, Surah Al-Safat, and uh, Surah Al-Zumar here, and Ghafr. Alhamdulillah, um, it's, uh, it is mentioned many times, but you would include these uh, mentioned in the six, so six plus. Uh, another 17 uh, so we praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they will praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, they will praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, In the hereafter, there, there is no form of worship then. It is required here. And there are no uh, second chances. With this, inshallah, we uh, conclude uh, Surah Zumr. The next uh, reading will be from Surah Ghafir. I remember that I selected 19 verses. Until then, uh, inshallah, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika shudha la ilaha anta sakhfirtu bilaykum. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.